Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this short time-lapse version of a little vibrant parrot study in soft pastel. And I intend to release the full version of this here on YouTube, so keep an eye open for that over the next week or two. And if you'd like to learn even more from my full length tutorials, then do check out my full library, which is available on Patreon. So I'm using the dark grey colour of pastel matte paper. I'm planning to do a much bigger parrot painting where we get the full body and there's more action in the painting that I'm planning to do. But I wanted to quickly test out how these bright colours will go on to the black or dark grey coloured paper. So I thought it would be nice to do a little head study just to test out these vibrant colours on this uh, tone of paper. Also to test how dark I might want to go with the background. So this is more like a little test run for me, but I thought that it would also make a very nice smaller study to work along with. So this took me about two hours, so it's a reasonably short tutorial. And as I mentioned at the start, I'm intending to release the full version of this here on YouTube very soon. So it's been a while since I've released a full real-time tutorial here on YouTube. I do have many of those in my library if you check out the playlists. And of course, what keeps me busy a lot of the time is producing these full-length, real-time tutorials for my patrons on Patreon. But I always like to share a good amount of free information here for everyone on YouTube, so I think this is one that you guys will enjoy. I certainly enjoyed it. These aren't colours that I get to use together very often, especially these bright oranges. I have some delicious looking oranges and yellows from Unison and it's a joy to get to put them together in one little painting. Now I also have quite a few photo references of um, parrots that I've taken myself and one of them has always stood out to me and it's a parrot that's taken off from a branch and it's flying towards me. It's quite out of focus, it's quite blurred, there's so much movement and action in the shot and I've been dying to tackle it for ages. But the thought of just starting in on the big painting without first having a go with these vibrant colours seemed a little daunting so I thought it would be a great idea to produce a tiny painting which wasn't going to take very long I can really play with the colours in this one and figure out a lot of what I need to figure out before attempting the bigger painting. So you can see that I've put a little splodge of all of my colours to the left on a sample of the paper that I'm using for this. Now that helps me a lot because one thing that's really tricky about working on a dark coloured paper is just how much that dark colour affects all of your colours. So mid-tones can look really light and bright on a dark coloured paper. So by putting a little sample of all of the colours that I chose out at the beginning to the left, it just helps me translate between the pastel that I'm holding in my fingertips to how that actually looks when it's applied to the paper. So the dark coloured paper was perfect for this but I do find it sometimes a little strange to get my head around because your tonal values look so different against a dark coloured background. So lots of colour packed into this. You can see that I have no white on my list. There is no white pastel used in this. So many colours through the face where we do have some white sections. 
but it's all peach tones and blues, greens, everything but white. So this little study is a real explosion of colour and I really enjoyed doing it. Didn't take that long. I haven't gone into super duper detail on this, but you could of course work along with me and take it more detailed if you wanted. Perhaps you use more pastel pencils, for example, and you could add even more texture to the feathers than I did. But one thing I will say about the soft pastel sticks on their own is just how vibrant they are, how strong the colours are. So when it comes to the most vibrant parts of the bird, I really try to just use the sticks and to not mess about too much, to not put down too many colours and have too many things mixing together. I'm really coming in strong with the reds and the oranges and the yellows. Allowing that strong pigment from the sticks to do its, well, what it does best. And that is almost to glow from this dark coloured paper. It was really such a joy to work on. And I'm glad that I've produced this little study before tackling the big painting because now I'm really looking forward to working on the bigger version of this. So if you're interested in having a go, this is just a little time lapse to give you a taster. And I am going to release the full tutorial here on YouTube very soon. So I do try to release some real time tutorials here on YouTube. I don't like just releasing all time lapses because I know that it's quite limiting to learn from a time lapse. You can get a good overview of something and how it gets built up, but you really lack all of the extra information, all of those little things that I'm doing in real time that you miss out on with the time lapse. So of course, if you're interested in lots more real-time tutorials, do check out my website, emmacolbertart.com and you'll find my entire Patreon library on there so you can browse through all the tutorials I have available before actually signing up. So you can check it out and see if it's for you. But do remember to have a look through my playlists here on YouTube as well because I've released quite a few of the real-time paint-along style demos. And of course you'll also find a ton of other informational videos here all about soft pastel but also about colour theory, um, working as a professional artist, lots of different advice here on my channel. So I enjoyed this one a huge amount, playing with these vibrant colours all within one painting. Very few neutral tones used in this. Almost everything built up with the vibrant colours, either layering them up slightly or just coming in with really strong, colourful marks. So I think parrots are something I'm going to paint more of because well I have photo reference of them and I really just hadn't considered how they allow you to pack so much vibrant colour into one painting. So I'm sold. I'm definitely going to repeat this subject matter. I enjoyed this a lot. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing it come together in this speedy version. Do remember, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button here and call back very soon to join me with the real-time tutorial of this. But thanks very much for watching this here, and until next time, happy pastling. <laughs>